He's all yours. Thank you, Tony. You must be David. I'm Liz, Dr. Humphrey's assistant. Would you like to come inside? Come in. You must be David. I'm Dr. Humphrey. First things first. David, do you know why you're here? Yeah, to help you get reintegrated in society. That's right. Are there any things you like to do? Well, I like to draw. I know I'm not going to make a living sitting on my ass doing that. Well, you can, but I wouldn't suggest it. I understand it's no fun being a starving artist. I heard you like to cook, David. Is that true? I guess. Well, we have plenty of time to get to know what you're good at and get you out there and earning an income just along with everybody else. Can I go to my room now? Sure, David. I'll show it to you. Follow me. Would you like to meet your housemates now, or later? Later then, I suppose. What the hell? <laughs> So you're the new kid. Where's your money? The fuck? You're not so tough. Should have just given him the money. What money? I'm sorry, I just kind of figured. My name's Jonathan, by the way. David. Nice to meet you. Um, do you want to yeah. meet the other loonies we're sharing a space with? Do I have a choice? You'll be meeting them sooner or later anyway. Alright, well, nice meeting you. So you're the new meet. Hmm, great. More visitors. You better get used to this, dude. We don't get that many bodaciously cute guys in this place. 
I'm Barbara, by the way, but my friends call me Barb. All right, Barbara. Not exactly the friendly type, are you? Not exactly the subtle type, are you? Jeez, what crawled up your ass? You know what? I'm tired. All I want to do is go to sleep. Instead, I have some wannabe jock, some cross-dressing weirdo, some bitch annoying the shit out of me. If you don't want to talk, just say it. Dr. Humphrey wanted me to give you your pills. Open mouth. Would you like to come down to dinner? Do I have to? We like to have everyone eat together, to keep them safe. Do I have to make a formal introduction too? No, informal is just as good. Come along now. Aren't you hungry? Can I please just eat in my room? I already told you, the answer is no. You know, we have tons of great resources to help you get reintegrated into the outside world. We have a subscription to the newspaper, and some of the townspeople are even willing to take on some volunteers. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. I'd like you all to welcome David. He's new here, so uh, please give him a warm welcome. But what if he doesn't want a warm welcome? Maybe he wants to take his warm Barbara! and shove it up his Barbara. ass. Barbara! I want you all to be as polite to David as possible. Understood? But he's a dick. I mean, I... Understood? Yes, ma'am. No. What's for dinner? Just shit on a stick. Shut up, Ralph! You Fuck stubborn tar! You two! To your rooms. Now. Timmy. Now, what's for dinner? Mary? It's rigatoni with sausage. Jonathan made it. Thank you, Mary. That sounds delicious, Jonathan. Thanks. David, feel free to grab some. Oh, and Jonathan. David likes to cook. Maybe you two could cook together sometime. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me uh, give you a plate. There you go. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. How's that food taste, faggot? I jerked off in it right before you came down. Shut the hell up, Toby, you wannabe jock queer hater. Hey, Rebecca, you wear enough eyeliner, I think you can still see. I know people like you. You desire shaft and you want to suck it yourself, and then you're disgusted and by your own desires. I know why you hate your daddy. You love to suck his cock when you play hide the sausage in your little room. <laughs> you dumb bitch. <laughs>
So, uh... What's for breakfast? David, do you know why everyone is upset? I saw an ambulance earlier carrying a stretcher. Is this... Did somebody get hurt? Toby was killed last night. Oh. Um... Shit. Uh, did the police know who did it? Oh, come off it! We already know you did it! Yeah, the new guy killed Toby. <laughs> Rebecca's the one that said she was gonna kill him last night. What? Yeah. Toby makes some cracker mark about her dad, and uh, she goes off swearing to God how she's gonna kill him. Rebecca, is that true? It's true, Miss Liz, but you know as well as I do that Rebecca would never hurt anybody. N not true. The, the other day I, I made a comment about your d d dad, and she stabbed me with a, with a fork. Shut up, you fat fuck! Rebecca! Come with me, please. Um, you really think she did it? Of course she did it. No, she didn't. Rebecca wouldn't have killed Toby because of what he said. Then why did she say she would? I mean, <laughs> she's just trying to scare him. It's possible. You know, it's pretty suspicious that uh, she says she's going to kill him and he ends up dead. It's a coincidence. Does anybody know how he died? No, but I heard he was decapitated. I heard I heard he was g gutted. The groundskeeper told me his throat was slit open. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Who do you guys think did it? You. Why do you think it's me? Because Toby picked on us for months, but he was still alive. You show up, he picks on you, and he's dead. So somebody finally snapped. Doesn't mean I did it. Let's say you didn't kill Toby. Who did? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. Hey, David. Any any luck finding that killer yet? Not yet. Ma maybe it's because we've we've already found her. It's a possibility. Though it seems like Timmy's body was killed in one place and then moved to the shed. So if it was her, she didn't do it alone. M maybe they're right. M maybe you did it. Are you seriously gonna suggest that? It's always a possibility. I think if the body was moved, it was a guy. Or Rebecca. She's, she's always seemed kind of dicky to me. Yeah, I was told something about volunteer work. Yeah, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't pay. Duh, it's volunteer work. How do I go about setting that up? Talk to, talk, talk to Liz. Wait, aren't you supposed to be looking for a murderer? What is it, David? Um, I was wondering if I could do some volunteer work. Can I wait till tomorrow? I'd rather I didn't. Everyone's insinuating that I killed Todd, and uh, I'd like to get out of the house. I figured that'd be a good way to do so. His name was Toby. Why are they accusing you? Uh, something about he bullied them all the time, and I show up, and now he's dead. Don't take it personally. They're all a bit freaked out. Yeah, it's kind of hard not to take it personal when they're insinuating that I'm the one that killed him. Now, can I get a list of those volunteer jobs or not? Okay, just give me a minute.
These are the people around town that will usually take on volunteers. You may want to go around and ask if they need any help. Thank you. Mr. Uh, D.A.Ora? Um, I recently moved into the neighborhood and I uh, was wondering if you could use some help. You one of them damn crazies? Uh, I wouldn't consider myself a crazy, but I am in the halfway house up the street. What can you do? Well, um, I can clean up your front yard and... I don't know. Uh, if you can clean up the front yard and the shit in the back, I'll give you $80. You'll pay me? Uh, you got yourself a deal, yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Still think I killed him? No. He may have said those things, but I don't think you killed him over something so stupid. Come on in. It's time for group. Group? We all have our reasons for why we're fucked up. Group is our way of talking it out. So what's yours? That's something I don't even talk about with the doctors. What was Timmy's? I don't know. He'd never show up the whole time I've been here. Rumor has it he was raped by his entire football team, but they only said that because of how much of a fag hater he was. So who do you think killed him? Personally, I sort of think Mary did it. Mary? The, the quiet girl? The one that reads all the time? That's the one. Why do you think she did it? Well, Toby picked on her the most. I wouldn't be surprised if she just flipped and stabbed him in the chest. I thought Jonathan said his throat was slit. Um, somebody who wants him dead is more likely to stab him a few hundred times than, than slit his throat. You seem to know a bit about killers. 
Maybe it was you. Uh, what would I have to gain from killing him? I don't know. That's what we'd need to find out. You're crazy. Or maybe you're just mad that I'm on your trail. Whatever. You know what I don't like about you? What, my hair, my clothes, the way I talk? You're too serious. And that's a problem? It doesn't work in your favor. Those things don't. How was everybody's day? I finally be began it. No, you didn't. You died like 50 different times, Rob. So what? I, st I still b beat him. Mary? I read a book. Took a break today from your drawing? Oh, that's okay. David? Well, I uh, did Mr. Diaora's yard work and he paid me. I know Mr. Diaora can be a tough man to work for, but he appreciates good work and he pays good for it. Explains why the old coot never paid me. So, so what? You, you'd probably just buy another dre another dress anyway. Where's Rebecca? <clears throat> Rebecca's been taken into police custody for the time being. She's in jail? For now, yes. I get... I, I guess someone else has to t die in order to prove that Re Rebecca's innocent. Ralph, don't say something like that. R what? I, I I'm just st stating the facts. If someone if somebody else died, then the the that would prove to the p police that she's innocent. Yeah, let's just hope it doesn't come to that. Seems a bit foolish to ask, but does everybody feel safe? No. No. The possible killer on the loose? No way. Nope. Well, as I said, foolish to ask, but the police are pretty confident that uh, Rebecca's the one that committed the murder, and they are still trying to gather evidence. So if you guys run across anything that either works in her defense or against her, please make sure you bring it to Liz or myself. I think she's still pretty upset. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go play, play, play some Mega Man. David, are you gonna clean the dishes? Uh, I can. Here, uh, I'll help you. I'll leave you guys to it. If you need me, I'll be in my office. How are you liking your stay here, man? I hate it. <laughs> I can understand that. Somebody gets murdered on your first day and everyone accuses you of it. <laughs> I'd like to say things are gonna get better, but then I'd be lying. What, people are murdered all the time here? No, oh, just forget it. No, oh, tell me. Well, I'd like to say today was terrible, but today's been one of the best days since I've been here. Oh, maybe Toby was just making life hell for everyone. You got a point there. Maybe things will start looking up for the both of us. As long as people stop accusing me and nobody else gets killed. Definitely. Well, um, mind if I ask you a personal question? I guess not. Well, why are you here? You seem like a fairly normal guy to me. Honestly, I don't really know. Um, the doctors, they said I saw something traumatic and, uh, my mind blocked it out. I, I didn't talk for almost a year afterwards either. Jeez. You don't remember anything at all? I'm starting to get some flashes, but uh, really no. Do you remember not talking for a year? Uh, no. Um, well, I'm glad you're talking now. Why's that? Well, frankly, no one talks to me because they all think I'm a cross dressing freak. <laughs> Seemed like a pretty normally dressed guy to me. You just don't understand why I dress this way. Mind if I ask why? Well, my sister died when I was very young. And I really loved her, so... I wear these dresses so I can remember her. You know, that's not... that's not too weird. I, uh, I knew a lady once who uh, kept her dead husband's clothes so she could remember him. <laughs> yeah, but she doesn't wear them. We don't know that. I guess you're right, we don't. It's 
Tell me about your sister. Well, I remember her taking me to go see the Goonies. That's a good movie. Yeah, it was. And I remember the way she'd smile at me every time she left for school. And the way she'd take me to the boardwalk and buy each of us a pickle. <laughs> sister sounds like a pretty cool chick. Yeah, she was. She was really good at video games, too. I bet she could give Ralph a run for his money. <laughs> My dog could give Ralph a run for his money. Hey, don't say that. He might challenge him. <laughs> Hello, boys. Are you ready to take your pills? Here, man. Yeah, thanks. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Well, I'm gonna go to bed. You going to bed right now? Yeah, the, the pills make me really tired, and I'd rather just go to bed now than pass out watching his futile attempts at video games. I... All right, man, well, thanks for talking to me. Have a great night. You too. Morning. Hey. Hey. So what's for breakfast? Uh, just bacon, eggs, and toast. Sounds good. Yeah. So any luck beating Dr. Wiley last night? No. Dumb b bitch made me turn off the game. No, she didn't. You died a bunch of old times and had to start over, Ralph. No, I'm, I'm good at games. Shut up. If you're so awesome at video games, why haven't you beaten Super Mario Bros. yet? You haven't either! I did too. No. Yeah? Then what? Well, well... Then what's on the final level? Alright, so you go through a maze full of pipes, and then you fight the bridge lizard, and then the princess is at the end. You're lying. Alright, in one point, you go through a room of flying fish, and then you go underwater, and then the bridge lizard throws hammers at you. No, you're... You're lying! Shut up! No one believes you! So did you relegate it? No, but I saw my sister beat it. <laughs> Where is everyone? I don't know. Mary's usually down here by now, but she's probably still in her room. She's uh, pretty upset about Rebecca. Hmm. Yeah. Any plans for today? <clears throat> um, nothing much. I mean, I think I might just sit around here and watch Ralph's futile attempts to beat Mario. You? I think I'm going to hit up Mr. D'Aurora. <laughs> Have fun with that. You know, I think I'm gonna give you dude some money. It's, yeah. um, I know it's a major bore here, and, uh, you guys can go down into town. I heard Super Mario 2 came out a couple of weeks back. Sure did. Maybe go buy that. Did you just say M Mario 2? I did. Are, are you serious? What else am I gonna do with all my money? Um, I'm gonna have Jonathan hold on to this for you. Jeez, man. Um, you guys have fun. Did, did, did the new kid just give us money to buy Mario 2? Yeah, he sure did. Wow. New, new, new kid's my, my, my new favorite housemate. Do you have an old favorite housemate? <laughs> yeah. Me. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. You hold on to the money, I'm gonna go get ready. Okay. But just because you dress like a woman doesn't mean you have to take as long to get ready like one. What do you want? Uh, you told me to come by today for some more work. Maybe. How much will it cost me? 
Honestly, I'm not really doing this for the money. I just don't want to be locked up in that crazy house all day. Well, if you can clean the bathroom, the kitchen, and the front and back yards, I'll give you another 80. Uh, didn't I already do the back and front yards? Yeah, you did, but the damn squirrels got into it and they ripped it up and the shit's all over the place. All right, uh, well, where do you want me to start? You can start in the shitter. Hasn't been cleaned since Betsy passed. What are you waiting for? Um, cleaning supplies? Here you go. Get to work. Dior. What? Can I get something to drink? Thank you. You've done a fine job, David. Thank you. Oh, it's really nice to know not everyone of your generation is good for nothing. you want me to do? Uh, Mr. Deora. Oh God. Oh, oh God. Hello? Yeah, um, I, I need to report a murder. Uh, uh, no, I'm not sure of the address. I I it's near the Psycho House. Yes, Mr. Deoris. Thank you. David Whitman, I'm Detective Castillo. Could you uh, tell me what happened here? I came over to do some chores for Mr. Diora. I was outside raking the leaves off the lawn, and then I came in to see if he needed any more work done before I left for the day. Hmm. What kind of work do you do for Mr. Diora? I only started for him yesterday. Hmm. Yesterday, you say? Yes, sir. I, I, I just moved into the halfway house up the street the day before that. There was a murder there a few days ago, wasn't there? Yes, sir. That's... 
the reason I came to work for Mr. D. Aora. Some of the people in the house were blaming me for killing that dude. Guilty conscience? No, no, I, I just don't need to be blamed for something just because I'm the new guy in the house. I went out to get some volunteer work, and Mr. D'Aora was willing to pay me, so... I came and did some chores around his house. Did you two have any disagreements? No, sir. He said I was a good worker right before he went inside. Oh, thank you, David. If you have any more questions, I'll be sure to contact you. You know where to find me. That I do. Am I good to go? You may leave. going on? Mr. D'Aora was murdered. Does that mean Rebecca's free to go? I don't think so. It's obvious you're the killer. You should be in jail, not her. Oh. This game is crap. You don't like it? It's nothing like Mario Brothers. <sighs> what the hell is with the, the fucking radishes? He's been bitching about this all day. Because it's bullshit. There's even a, a transsexual dinosaur that you fight. What? He's right, it's even in the instruction booklet. Check it out. It's the pink one. I think it's the second from the last. Ostro. Thinks he's a girl and spits eggs from his mouth. What the fuck? See? Th this game is crap! I'm sorry, man. I didn't know it would be so weird. I- I- well, I- I thought it would- I thought it would be cool. I read the Nintendo Power article, but I wouldn't- I wouldn't- I wouldn't- never guess that this game features a transsexual dinosaur. Yeah, they don't even have the bridge lizard. <sighs> nope. Nothing but- Tra transsexual dinosaurs and uh, mouse wearing shades. Stupid all right, rat. All right, all right. Well, how was your day at DA or? Leave me alone, you st stupid face. Terrible. Um, Mr. DA or was murdered today. What? D does that mean you won't be getting p paid anymore? No, duh. Oh, that sucks. Totally. Well, how do you know he was murdered? I walked in and he had been stabbed numerous times. Pretty sure that's murder. Jesus. Do you think it was the same person who killed Toby? I don't know. It's a possibility. But we all agreed that it was it was Rebecca. Maybe Mary killed Mr. D to make Rebecca look innocent. Maybe she's framing you so Rebecca can get out. I I haven't seen Mary Mary uh, but Mary at all today. I did. In fact, she actually even mentioned something about Rebecca being free to go now. Dude, you might actually have a point. M maybe, maybe Mary's, uh, you know, killing people off to make it seem like Re Re Rebecca's innocent. That's what I just said. I know. I was just, I, I was just reiterating. What's the point of that? Do you just like hearing yourself talk? As a matter of fact, I, I do. David, Dr. Humphrey would like a word with you. David, have a seat. How are you feeling? Fine. No weird visions or anything? No. What is this about? We just want to make sure your medication is having a positive impact on you. Um, at the hospital, I had a lot of flashes of trains and things like that, but 
since I started taking the pills, I really haven't had any dreams or, or uh, trains or anything. I, I, I've been having other dreams, though. Go on. Well, like bleeding in front of me, like it's somebody's dying, like it, blood rushing right down. I, I don't know, weird. Interesting. What? Tell me, David, have you felt like hurting anyone lately? No. Well, aside from that one dude, Timmy, or whatever his name was. I mean, but that was only because he punched me. Toby punched you? Yeah, didn't you know he was a violent dude? I mean, first thing he does when he... I meet him, he punches me in the face and beats me up. I mean... Oh, and then makes fun of uh, Rebecca for her dad raping her. I mean... You do know Toby was molested as a kid, don't you, David? Well, that doesn't give him an excuse to beat people up. Ms. Garduno, Mr. Anderson's record is confidential, even if he is deceased. David, other than Toby, have you felt like hurting anyone else? No. I know you've been working for Mr. Deora, and as I told you, he could be difficult to work for. Have you run into any problems with him? Is that what this is about? Mr. Deora being murdered today? That does come into it, yes. That's fucking bullshit. Mr. Deora and I were cool. He liked me. He paid me. Very well, I might add. I mean, I, I didn't kill him and I didn't kill that other faggot either. I... We're not saying you did. Well, it sure as fuck sounded like that. <laughs> you know what? If you don't like the pills I'm on, take me off them. If you don't like the way I'm acting, tell me what you want me to change. But you know what? I, I'm done. This is bullshit. I'm out. Hey, David. Hey. What do they want? To accuse me of killing Toby and Mr. Deora. You have to admit it's a little too much to write off as coincidence. How do we know it wasn't you, Mary? How do we know that maybe you didn't want your little lesbo pal out of jail? Nobody thinks it was me. Everybody thinks it's you. We all think it's you. I'm sure. Jonathan, do you think I killed Toby? No. But... See? I do think you killed Mr. D. A. Oro. What? I think Barbara was right when she said uh, he killed them to make Rebecca seem innocent. You penis bred weeb! What? Uh, Jonathan? Come off it. We all know you did it. Jonathan. Bitch. Jonathan! What? How'd you say Toby was killed again? His oh. throat was slit. I want you, all of you to go to your bedrooms after dinner. I won't have you fighting over who the killer is. It's ridiculous. And it won't get us anywhere. It will only turn you against each other. Can I ask another question? What? Was Toby stabbed or anything, or was it? No. His throat was slit. I was thinking last night about what Liz told me about how Toby died, and if Rebecca was genuinely pissed off about what he said, she wouldn't have just slit his throat. She would have stabbed him at some point. Duh, we already discussed this. Well, what do you mean? If she was pissed at him, she would have wanted him to suffer. No, I, I honestly, I think whoever killed him just wanted to kill him. Well, everyone wanted to kill Toby. Yeah, but, well, maybe they had something to gain from killing him. Well, there's also the matter that his body was moved. Yeah, that's right. Unless Mary helped, it, it couldn't have been Rebecca who moved him. Well, maybe his body was dragged. No, he was definitely carried. When I went out there, Toby showed up, when he showed up dead, uh, there was immediate signs that his body was moved. 
what, what, what makes you think that it was? There was there was blood in a cigarette butt over by where he was killed, and then in the shed there was uh, there were signs of uh, of smearing and whatnot. Well, maybe the ambulance smeared blood. It's a possibility, but I really don't think they'd be so negligent. So, so, so you're saying that Re Rebecca didn't kill Toby? I don't think she did. Well, then who did it? That's the mystery. Are we even sure that it was somebody in this house? Uh, N nobody outside the house knew Toby. Well, in that case, why would uh, why would someone kill Mr. Diaora? Because he was an old asshole to everybody. Or maybe someone was trying to set you up. Mary makes the most sense if we think about someone trying to set someone up. I don't know. I, I really don't think we're looking for two killers. I think we're only looking for one. Who, who do you think it was then? And the way Mr. Diaora died, it seemed like he was trying to escape, but the killer just wouldn't let him. Well, what makes you think that? He was stabbed in the chest. It went into the floor. I mean, it would have meant that he had to be held down. I doubt Mary could have done that. How do we know that you didn't kill Mr. Diaora? What motive did I have? He was paying me, and very well, I might add. I had no damage with him. I mean, why would I want to kill my golden goose? Well, how do we know that you weren't stealing his money and he caught you, so you decided to kill him? How do we know that you aren't just pissed off that I disregarded your sexual advances and are just deciding to kill people to blame them out on me? Sexual advances? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, we don't get predaciously cute guys here every day. Why don't you do the nasty? Oh, gag me out the door. I never asked if you wanted to do the nasty. You might as well have. <laughs> as if. You know what? You're just upset that my self-esteem isn't low enough to fuck you. You're a fucking dickhead. Hey! What's going on in here? D David was saying that, that Rebecca didn't k kill Toby. And that Barbara- Shut up, you stuttering retard! B bitch Barbara just said that I killed Toby and Mr. Diehora. I want you all to stop talking about these murders. All you ever do is blame one another. If I hear any more of this, I'll take away the TV? What? That, that's bullshit! I, I'm, I'm the- I, I'm the only one that even watches this, the- 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 the, the stupid thing! You know, I'm sorry. For what? For being an asshole to you. What's your damage? I don't know, I think you may have been the first person to apologize to Barbara. And it'll probably be the last of the way she just reacted. What plans do you have for today? Me? Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe some volunteer work or try to get a job. <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, what do you mean? Haven't you noticed how we just hang around and veg all day? I just thought you two were lazy. You wish. No one wants to hire us because we're, f we're freaks. Are you sure about that? Well, they don't usually say it, but that's usually their reasoning. Like, they see the house address and immediately label us as freaks. How do you know that? Herbert told us. He was the only one that, one of us that was able to get a job and keep it. Well, how did he do it? Well, he used to live in this neighborhood and wrote down, wrote down his, um, his old address, the, the one on his license. Hmm. So why don't you guys just do that? They, they make, they ask for our ID with their ad address on it. Why don't you say you moved? Well, they asked for a bill sent to the address. Why are they so strict about this? I've never worked anywhere where they ask me for bills or proof of address and... Unless they really don't want you to be hired that badly? No, no, no shit, Sherlock. Man, that's messed up. And that's why we just hang around all day. Is there a reason they act this way? Some of us believe that it's just because they don't like the freaks and others think it's because someone who's working went off the deep end and started killing people. Hmm. Thanks. Well, where are you going? To my room. I had a terrible night's sleep last night. We'll see you later. We, we'll, we'll be we'll, we'll be around playing Mario 2. Okay. Hey, David. Yeah, what's up? Uh, I kind of noticed you kind of dodged uh, Barbara's accusation. Uh, what do you mean? They're saying that you you stole the money. <laughs> Who cares what that bitch says? Well, did you? No. Mr. Diaora paid me for doing chores around his house. Yeah. Uh, 
Eighty dollars does seem like a lot. I work hard. Is that a problem? It just seems a bit shady. That's all. You know what? I don't need to put up with this shit. Who is it? It's David. Come in. David, how are you? Uh, fine. I, I was just told something weird and I wanted to run it by you. What is it? Well, I was talking to some of the guys and... You mean Jonathan and Ralph? How'd you know? <laughs> you three are the only guys in the house. Right. Um, well, I was talking to them and... They were saying something about they couldn't get hired because people know that they live in this place. That's simply not true, David. Why? Edward was hired a few months ago down at the supermarket. Yeah, they told me about that, but... David, I don't think you need to concentrate on getting a job right now. You're still in a rather unstable state, and the death of both Toby and Mr. D.A. are troubling circumstances to go through. Especially since you haven't fully recovered from your first incident. Uh, what do you mean? The incident with the train. The reason I'm here, right? Yes. The incident I only remember happening? There's the proof that you haven't fully recovered. You still have no recollection of the incident. If you know that I don't remember it, why do you insist on calling it the incident? Do you remember a girl by the name of Beverly Clearwater? Yeah, she, she was my girlfriend's sophomore year. Do you know what happened to her? No. Beverly died. No. No, she couldn't have. She did, David, and you saw it. No. No. You lied. You can't be lying. You told me that you were dreaming about trains in the hospital. So what? That's how Beverly died. You two were walking along the train tracks and Beverly hit, was hit by an oncoming train. She's my everything. David, you've been told this story numerous times. Why don't you remember it? Because it didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. It couldn't have happened. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> Why can't I recall it? People all handle trauma differently. Some people spend days thinking about it, while others just keep it all inside. Then, and then there are those whose minds lock it down from them. It's totally didn't speak very here. because you saw your friend die in a very brutal fashion. Once so my brain just stops fucking working to cope with the situation? It's fucking great! Do you want to talk about anything that you're feeling right now? No, I, I, I feel pretty shitty. I know that much. She she was You really didn't know what happened to her? Honestly. I couldn't remember anything. I remember going for a walk and I woke up one morning in the in that place. <laughs> Silent. You weren't sure why you were there? No. 
I don't know. I was asking the doctors why. They all just seemed shocked that I was able to talk. This is... This is heavy. What's heavy? You're like this. You know, I... I was hoping to go and see her after I got out of here. I had, I had no idea. I had no... Why did she die? We've all been waiting for you to tell us. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. What? 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 Why can't you get that to your fucking heads? I don't know why she died. I can't tell you anything. I don't even know what happened. But in a way, you are fully aware that Beverly was dead. Did you really expect to leave here and go see her? How do you expect me to know something if my mind locks it down? How does that make any sense at all? We've been waiting for you to cope and possibly recall it. Her family knows, right? Yes, they do. Can I go lie down? I don't mind at all. Did you see that kid from Family Ties is in a new movie? Yeah, somebody at school was saying it was pretty cool. Well, maybe we could see that. Or we could see the Goonies again. No, not again. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Heads, Goonies. Tails, the new Alex P. Keaton movie. Okay. Looks like we're gonna go see Back to the Future. <laughs> Acting like you don't want to see it. Well, if I acted like I wanted to see it, you wouldn't want to. Whatever. Ugh. Damn it. David, can you help me again? You really need to watch where you're going. Just shut up and help me. And make it fast. <sighs> Crap, it's really stuck this time. Come on, David. Hurry up! I, I, I'm trying to, but this one's really narrow. I, I can't seem to get your foot loose. David, go. Uh, I'll get you out, baby, I promise. David. David, come on. David, I love you. I wish you the best in life. Come on, David. Shut up, baby. Don't say things like that. You're not going to die here.
Hmm? Are you okay? Uh, not really. Who's Beverly? Hmm? Beverly, you were screaming out her name, so I decided to check on you. She... She was a girl. It's okay if you don't want to talk about it. I didn't even talk to Humphrey about my stuff, and he knows what happened. Well, thanks for checking up on me. No problem. I wanted to thank you for apologizing earlier. You deserved an apology. I was being a dick. I don't think I deserved it. I was being a bitch. Not only to you, but to Ralph and Johnny, too. Thank you anyway. No problem. I'm gonna go take a shower, okay? I take it you want me out? <laughs> It'd be appreciated. I'm sorry for saying that you were the killer. <laughs> Don't worry about it. David, someone's at the door for you. Hello? Mr. Uh, Detective Constaniello? Or... Costello. Mm -hmm. How have you been, Mr. Whitman? Fine. Um, what can I do for you? We were wondering if you'd be willing to submit to a blood test. Sure. Uh, can I ask why? We found some blood at the DA or a crime scene that didn't belong to him. Seeing as you were the only other person there, we thought we'd test you first. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fine. What are you doing? Do you know what I just found in David's room? What? what? I found a pair of black leather gloves and a knife. Where is he? A cop told him he wanted to talk to him and he just took him. Don't you see? David is the killer. Uh, we, 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 we need to tell this. Tell me what? Barbara said she found a pair of black gloves and a knife in David's room. What? Yeah, he took out his clothes and they fell on the floor. Show me. See? He's the killer. No, he can't be. He doesn't seem like the violent type. I need to, I need to talk to the doctor. Yes, what is it? I need you to tell me something. What? The medication David's on. Can it cause psychotic episodes? I'm not aware of any recorded cases. But is it a possibility? Sure, any medication can. Shit. I think David's been having psychotic episodes and isn't remembering them. What do you mean? We found a pair of black gloves and a knife in David's room. What? Show me. Who found these? I did. He dropped them. Where is he now? I think he's with the police. A detective wanted to talk to him, said they found blood at the crime scene and wanted to see if it matched his. Okay. Maybe they don't belong to David. What do you mean? They're in his room, aren't they? Let's just wait until David gets back and I'll talk to him. And let him slaughter all of us in our sleep? We don't know these belong to David. And did he seem terrified that you saw these items? He seemed totally shocked. I'll keep these in my office. Let's pretend this did not happen. If David's having psychotic episodes, he may not even be aware. Okay. Barbara, can you remain calm? I don't know. It is really important for you to do so. They're testing to see if he's a killer right now. His results may come back negative. Just try not to put the house into a panic. Okay. Okay. <sighs> there. In three days, I will have physical evidence that I am not the killer. Hey, Jonathan. Yours tastes great tonight. Thanks. Hmm. You guys aren't hungry? Hmm.
I'm going to bed. David, is that you? Uh, yes, Miss Liz. Dr. Humphrey would like a word with you. Okay. Come um. with me. David, sit. I done something wrong? Barbara told us about the knife, David. Oh, that. What do you have to say for yourself? Um, it wasn't me. <laughs> David, the doctor and I have reason to believe that you've been experiencing psychotic episodes. Liz, please. What do you mean by psychotic episodes? Liz has reason to believe that your medication is causing side effects, and that maybe you're blacking out or doing absurd things. And what do you believe? I believe someone's trying to set you up. Plan on speaking to that person later on this evening. May I ask who? I'm not at liberty to say. You have reason to believe that I'm being framed, and you won't tell me who, the, who it is? What kind of bullshit is this? It may cross the lines of doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm allowed to tell the individual's parents or the police if they openly tell me that they're planning to hurt someone. However, I can't tell another patient based solely on a hunch. It's fucking bullshit! Something else you want to say? I should have known it was you. The day you arrived, I knew you were no good. David! That's it! I'm reporting you to the police. What did I do? You know damn well what you did. What did he do? He k k killed <laughs> this, this this sounds like me. He killed Dr. Humphrey. What? what? I want everyone to go to your rooms right now. Except for you, David. I need to report you to the police. Think about this, please! Uh, Liz, wait! Liz, please wait! Uh, what motive do I have? Dr. Humphrey knew I wasn't the killer. Uh, he, he knew someone was trying to set me up. Who was it? I don't know. I don't know who it was. All I know is that you were talking to him last, and then you were hollering and left, and now he's dead. Humphrey knew it wasn't me. You know, I, I, I can prove it. Prove it quick. The blood at uh, uh, D.A. Orr's house. Um, I don't have a cut anywhere on my body. Uh, you can check me. I'm not gonna check you. Well, then wait for the police to show up. They, they, they... So wait and let you slash up more people? <sighs> Please, Liz. I want to find the killer just as much as you do, and we're never gonna do this if you keep accusing me. Fine. I'll believe you until you give me a reason not to. Thank you. You do make an interesting point, though. Whoever the real killer is must have a cut somewhere on their body. Probably on their arm or leg or something. Well, just stay here. I'm gonna get everyone from downstairs. Let's check arms, legs, stomach area.
Hey. Hey, hey, David. I wanted to, to tell you something. Uh, what is it? Um, not not here. Not, uh, not now. Um, uh, later. T- uh, I, I think I know who the, the murderer is. Okay. Uh, wh- when do you want to talk? About? Um. Uh. I, 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 how, how about after, how about after dinner tonight by the shed? Uh, okay. Hey guys. Hey David, what is it? I just want to talk about. No idea. All right. Awesome. Jesus! Bitch. I want everyone to expose their legs and arms. I dropped a knife a few nights ago when I was making those uh, radical pork chops and um, I stupidly tried to catch it and I ruined my sister's favorite dress. I mean, I suppose that's what I get. You have to be more careful. Yeah. Mary? Yes? How did you get that cut on your arm? Mary? Did you kill Mr. Deora? What? No! It was David! David did it! Are you trying to prove Rebecca's innocence by killing a man? Is that... is that trying to prove that there's a killer on the loose or something? Rebecca is innocent! It was him! It was David! He killed her! He killed everyone! Rebecca wanted her to fly! Mary, you need to come with me. Oh shit! What? I totally forgot. Uh, Liz was trying to accuse me of Humphrey's death and, and call the police and, and, and I stopped her, but we didn't report Humphrey. Why didn't Liz do it herself? Liz had just seen Humphrey's d- dead body. Grief, grief can fuck with your head. I think that's taken care of. See you, man. Hello, um, yes, I, I'd like to report a murder. Uh, Dr. Humphrey was murdered in his office last night. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you. Just so you know, it wasn't your blood we found at the DA or crime scene, but I'm sure you knew that. Yes, sir, that's why I had no worries. You seem like a pretty straight kid, but it is routine. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to take blood samples from one of the other kids. It's probably one of them. I've narrowed my list down to uh, Mary, Liz, um, Jonathan, and Barbara. Miss Garduno wants me to take Mary in for questioning. She says the girl is pretty disturbed, and she keeps accusing you of killing Toby. She's been doing that since Rebecca was taken in. Do you think she did it? I don't know. Just so you know... We're only going to be uh, taking her in to do a blood test, then we'll be bringing her back. We're not going to be keeping her overnight. Well, I wasn't expecting her to actually be kept overnight. I just wanted to let you know that much. Thank you, Detective. Just let me know if anything happens. Will do. Hey, Detective! Jesus! Oh, hey, David. D- d- don't forget about tonight. I'll ask Jonathan if I can cook dinner so that way we don't get stuck with the dishes. Okay. Hey, uh, Jonathan, uh, you mind if I do dinner tonight? Uh, of course. Um, do you want me to do the dishes? 
you wouldn't mind. Of course not. You're always cleaning up after my messes. Come in. Hey. What do you want? Just wanted to see how you were coping with, uh, what happened to the doc. Well, thankfully I didn't see it. You know we're gonna have to leave this house though, right? Well, I, I wasn't sure, but that's good, right? A new house where no one will call you a freak. <laughs> that's it. I've been called a freak all of my life and I'd even live in one of these stupid houses. What's that? You wouldn't understand. Hey, try me. Do you know what it's like to have parents that never listen to you? <laughs> I think everyone does. To have your own mother call you a freak? Yeah. Do you know what it's like to be seven years old and have the flu to accidentally puke all over the bathroom floor? A few times. To have your mother rub your face in the puke and tell you to clean it up? No. To have your head dunked in the toilet because you weren't cleaning it up fast enough? Do you know what it's like to be thrown into a wall because of the filthy fucking mess you made? Um, the worst thing I saw was my girlfriend hit by a train. Yeah, you don't know shit. I've only told you of one incident. You don't know what it's like to shit yourself and have your mother tell you that you're forced to sit in those messy underpants all day, to have all the other kids screaming that you smell like shit. You had it easy. You probably had a ton of friends before you got put in the hospital. You have no right to spill another person's blood. That little girl had every right to, but she never did. Now get out of my face. Well, I guess this was our last meal together. You made a very excellent meal, David. Yes, it's a shame you didn't cook for us more often. I thought Jonathan's cooking was pretty good. <laughs> n n no, he, he made shit on the stick all the time. I'm going to my room. Ralph, what happened to your glasses? Oh, Dracula broke them. Stupid. Yeah. I'm going to... I'm gonna go outside and admire the yard one last time. Hey Liz, what happened to Barbara's mom? She passed away. That's the extent of what I know. Hmm. Well, I guess I better start packing my bags. Who's doing the dishes? I told David I would. Good night, boys. So long. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go see what Ralph's up to. Grab my shoes. I already know the answer to that. Do you do? No good, like always. Hey. What, what are you doing here? Oh, it's, it's, it's you. Ah, no! Ralph? Costello. Uh, detective? Yes? Uh, this is, uh, it's, it's David. Um, yes, what can I do for you? Uh, my friend Ralph, he was just murdered. It was dark. I, I, I kind of got a look at the guy, but it, it was dark. I'll be right over. Thank you. Everything all right? 
right, David? Ralph was just murdered. Ralph? Uh, the, the police are on their way. You know what he was doing out here? He said he might know who the killer was and wanted me to meet him out here. Uh, where were you when this happened? I was putting on my shoes and then when I came out, there was someone on top of him stabbing him. Did you see what they looked like? Like I said on the phone, it was too dark. I... <laughs> they were wearing all black. Hmm. help you with. Not now. Busy. Oh yeah? Fuck it. How near? He's interfering. <laughs> Let me tell you something now. I really liked Ralph, but I couldn't have him tell you that I didn't go to that stupid store to get that Super Mario Brothers game and that I had no alibi for the day Mr. D.A.R. was killed. He forced my hand. <laughs> You tell, tell me something now. Will you do that? Why did you have to go snooping around? Why couldn't you just accept your fate? I fucking planted these little black gloves and this little knife in your fucking drawer. But no, you and I fucking killed Toby after he punched you in the goddamn face. But you still had to blame everyone. But you know what? Well, no, I'm doing this because of everything you do, everything you fucking done. You know, David, you really need some fucking help. I'm done talking. I'm gonna fucking see you bleed. Piece of shit, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Why the fuck did you do that? Why the fuck did you fucking piece of shit? Fucking fuck. I'm sick of this shit. What the fuck are you doing? Never liked that kid. I always thought he was a little nuts. You really okay with me moving to this new place with you? Sure. As long as nobody starts dropping dead. <laughs> I make no promises. What do you think will happen to Liz? She'll figure something out. She'll move on. I hope you're right. I... I just didn't get why I did it. Do you remember Jonathan saying that his sister died? Yeah, of course. Jonathan's full name is Jonathan Clearwater. He was your girlfriend, Beverly's little brother. He was spying on you that day at the tracks. The day that Beverly died? Yes. He believed it in his mind that you killed his sister. <laughs> He told Dr. Humphrey he no longer believed that, but it seemed to be a ruse. If Dr. Humphrey would have known that, he would have never had you stayed here. So, 
Jonathan snapped because he believed that I murdered his sister. He believed that you needed to be condemned for killing her. You know, I remember him saying something about he wanted me to take the blame for the murders, but people kept taking the blame for me. He must have seen Toby punch me and just didn't expect Rebecca to take it. Precisely. Jonathan is a very ill boy. I'm sorry for blaming you, David. I wish I would have seen it sooner and a lot of lives could have been spared. I just can't believe he played out like he was my friend. He wanted you to trust him. It's easier to betray someone that way. So, what's to become of Mary and Rebecca? Well, Rebecca will be released and uh, sent to a new home. And uh, Mary will stay at the hospital. She, uh, she told us that her wounds were self-inflicted. Thanks for... Thanks for your request. Thank you. 